Hi, this is Kat Sturz from RockinYourPath.com with another episode of Fast Action Fridays. Now, normally I have a guest with me, but this week I've got something special to share with you, something that I think is really important. And I will have more guests coming up uh, after this week. The topic I want to share today is about taking fast action. I mean, it's the topic we talk about every week here on Fast Action Fridays, but today's a different kind of fast action. Today, I'm really going to encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. Get out of that place where you know that procrastination and fear of things not being just right are holding you back. I am the queen of procrastination. I have been in the past, and I am sure I will have my procrastination days in the future. I can procrastinate so well that even my husband knows that if I'm deep cleaning the house and I haven't told him ahead of time that was my plan for the day, he will ask me, what should you really be working on today? Because in my house, it's never cleaner than when I'm procrastinating a big project, especially a big, scary project. So this month, which happens to be the month of September 2019, if you're watching this sometime in the future, I jumped reluctantly into a challenge run by Kelly McCausey. Now... I like Kelly McCausey. I've been to uh, two of her events, uh, live events in the past. She does relationship building and motivation and inclusion better than, I wouldn't say better than everyone I know, but equal to anyone I know. And I almost didn't sign up for this challenge, which came with a cost. I had to put hard skin, actual money down to be in this challenge. I almost didn't sign up because number one, I really didn't want to spend the money on this. I had my money earmarked for somewhere else. Like many of you watching, you don't have unlimited funds to throw at whatever you want at any given time. Uh, For our family medical bills, just keep rolling in. So even though I can build my business and it does better over time, those metal bills keep piling up and are a real drag. All right, so why did I sign up? Well, you know that I like to follow my intuition. And as the deadline for the early bird sign up was ending, I kept getting this niggly, nudge that wouldn't go away that said, I needed to do this. I needed to use this as a springboard to kick myself in the butt and get more accomplished. I've got dozens of programs and projects and ideas that I've been writing tons of notes about. I've got planned out. I've got whiteboards. I've got recordings started but I wasn't fully implementing them. I wasn't making them available for my clients to use. I wasn't making them available for people who were following me, telling me they wanted this information. So I took a leap. I spent the money figuring having skin in the game was going to be that one more push to not waste the money. And I'm so glad I did. There are 15 challenges that are written up for this particular year. They change out every so often. Plus, we could pick our own challenge if we wanted to. And I didn't want to do that because I thought, okay, if I pick a challenge, then I could, oh, put it aside and just think that, okay, it was just me Nobody's going to care. I picked it. So I 
promise to myself that I was only sticking to challenges that were actually on the challenge book. There is a huge workbook that you can buy uh, for this challenge. I chose just to use the digital version, but I printed out a list of all of the challenges and I looked at that list and I really said to myself, what is on here that would challenge me the most? What can I actually do? So at the end of September this month, I could say I actually completed it in full. And for me, that was picking host a Facebook Live series. Now today, I finished that five-day Facebook Live series back in my Rocking Your Path community on Facebook, my Facebook group. What a lot of people who see me on Fast Action Fridays don't realize is that I'm an introvert and I've grown into being an ambivert over time. An ambivert kind of chooses their moments to shine and also is very comfortable and prefers stepping back and watching what's going on around them. So I'm not the big extrovert that a lot of people think I am. And I have no problem doing live performances. I mean, I've been on stage, you know, dozens of times for the community theater. I have done live TV. I've done recorded TV where I've interviewed someone else when I was helping with the Farm Bureau Farm and Garden Show. I used to work at a radio station for a while and I had to go live on air sometimes. I have done live radio interviews many, many times, but interviewing someone to, and being on stage where you are present in the moment is easy for me. It doesn't really bother me at all. I still get a little willies before we start, but it dissipates. Now, doing a Facebook Live plus doing what I'm doing here today, which is just talking to you out there through my camera lens, scares the bejesus out of me. It's almost like my fear of having a portrait picture taken. As I said, I can do live events just fine. And I love stand-up kind of comedy and ad-libbing. But get me to sit for a still photo, that's hard. I stepped out of that comfort zone earlier this summer and invited a photographer friend, Doug Milligan, to come visit and do a photo shoot with me. And I made myself do that. And today I'm taking the opportunity with this Fast Action Friday episode to step out of my comfort zone again and just talk to you and really encourage you to take fast action on something that's you really want to have completed something that tomorrow or next week or next month you can say, I took forward steps and I completed a project that was important to me to do. Now, I already told you today, I finished up that five-day Facebook Live series. So that was the uh, qualifier for finishing as a finisher for the Stretch Yourself Challenge, along with racking up some points. So you needed 50 points, uh, and there were various ways to pick up points through, you know, daily and extra credit. And I'm not even getting extra points for doing this here with you today. But you needed to complete one project, and I did that. But I've also completed other projects, and I will have a few more completed before the end of the month gets here. Out of the 15 challenge topics that we could choose from to stretch ourselves, I'm working on or have already completed 13 of them. 
I am blown away by what I have accomplished. And in order to do that, I had to take a huge leap out of my comfort zone and not wait for things to be perfect, not flesh out my notes until I was comfortable with them. Several of the challenges, I jumped in with both feet, knowing in advance it may not work out, and I was comfortable with that. Let me give you an example of one of them. One of our challenges that we could choose from is to host a one-day virtual summit. Now, in order to qualify for the challenge, I had to actually complete that in the month of September or at least have it scheduled. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. If I put it off, if I just kind of plan it and maybe call it okay and kind of squeak by with with points on that, that wasn't comfortable to me. So on the 17th, just a few days ago, I took 15 minutes to map out a plan for a virtual summit. I picked the title, which was How I Make Working From Home Work For Me. I picked out the day, which in this case is going to be September 28th, 2019. Again, if you're watching the replay and it's past that date, you should be able to find information about it and watch replays or have access to replays uh, later on. I picked a Saturday and most of my followers are busy on Saturday. They've got families. They're already busy, a lot of them in the same challenge. There's no extra time to fit things in, but I did it anyway. I picked five slots that I would fill up with speakers, not having a clue who could I, I could actually get to fill that in. Well, day one, after posting it in my group first and giving them a couple days, members a couple days to speak up and, and claim a spot, I had two filled. By the next morning, I had three of five spots filled. Then the afternoon when I was talking to someone and I filled one more spot and I had one more spot to fill today. And I really wanted that to happen today so I could build out the landing page with all five speakers, really feel like the event was there and was going to be done to my satisfaction within the scope of the challenge. And guess what? I got my fifth speaker today. I have a full virtual online summit that is going to be live all day on the 28th, a busy Saturday. This would not have happened in the past. I would have thought, oh, I don't have time to plan it out. I don't have time to get speakers. Saturday's a horrible day to do this. And there were literally no other days between the 17th and the 30th of September that I could fit that in. And I've already got things planned in October that I didn't want competing with the virtual summit. But I took that fast action. I didn't let the idea languish for lack of watering. The seed was already there. And I think the seed's been there for a long, long time. And like perennial plants and things like trilliums that only come up every two years, and some other plants that can be dormant for a long time. I got out the watering can and watered some projects. And I'm realizing now that that's exactly what I did for the other challenges. I didn't invent anything new. These were all ideas that have been simmering, that I've been waiting to implement. And I just decided to quit waiting, give myself a kick in the butt, pick up a watering can, start pouring nourishing water and fertilizing these ideas and getting them in motion. So as I close up today's Fast Action Friday, I want to challenge you as well. I want you to stretch 
in a way that you've never allowed yourself to stretch before. Pick a project that you have had an idea for, that you've been waiting for the circumstances to be just right to tackle. And take a positive forward step in moving that project alone. Don't wait for your website to be perfect. My website's been in redesign mode for quite a while and I didn't need it. Don't wait for the perfect time. You look at the calendar, pick your date, get your intention out there and let that help manifest and work itself out. Get out there and promote what it is you're wanting to do. People will gravitate to your forward movement. If you've never shared about the idea, you can't get help and support and encouragement and sign-ons for those projects. So quit waiting. Take a stretch. Pick up your own watering can. I'm providing the fertilizer to enrich that water for you and give your ideas some much needed watering and watch how you blossom and grow. The other thing I'm going to leave you with, I offer a free get acquainted chat. I offer a free 20 minute marketing strategy session. I offer a free breakthrough discovery session. So if you're stuck, stumped, or stalled about what you need to do to move yourself and your business forward, send me a message. Let's connect. Let me give you a hands up. And you can always come into the Rocking Your Path community on Facebook. There are some questions that I hope you'll answer. If you answer the questions, I can get you into the group even quicker. And also, let me know what you are stretching on. Coming up, I want to hear about your successes. That's it for today for Fast Action Friday. If you're listening to this podcast later on, same thing with you. Go back to my main website, rockingyourpath.com. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. It's Kat Sturtz, S-T-U-R-T-Z. And let's hook up. Let me give you some help in your garden. This is Kat Sturtz from rockinyourpath.com, reminding you to keep rocking your unique path to success. Bye-bye.